This is a case where I think many of you are going to go to Desmos just right away, right? You see a situation where you're like, oh, I hate inequalities. I just want to graph this and see what it looks like. And that's fine. But I think you can at least shorten the amount of time you spend in Desmos because this is a case where like you, you could mistype something. You could have to end up putting all these equations in. So there's some simple things you can do here. And it's very obvious to me, this is a plug points into equations question, right? We have a, a graph that's basically just a collection of points. And then we have a bunch of equations. Now, technically they're inequalities, but that doesn't affect how I think about it. So basically I would say, what's a point that's really, really easy to work with here. And my favorite point is in the shaded region, right? Zero, zero. So I would just be like, okay, what happens if I put zero, zero into each of these equations? Very quickly, I should be able to tell what's going on at least for half of them, right? So A would become zero is less than negative one. That's not true, right? The benefit of zero is gonna knock out all the X's. Here we have zero is less than negative one again. Not true. Zero is greater than negative one. That is true. Zero is greater than negative one. Now I might go to the uh, the Desmos calculator if I need to, but some of you are going to recognize, wait a minute, the only difference between these two things is that this has a negative slope, right? This kind of looks like y equals mx plus b. It's a little flipped, right? The b is first. This is y equals b plus mx, but the m is still the thing attached to the x, and that's going to represent the slope of the line. This is a negative slope. So just like that, it's kind of got to be d. You don't even need to go to Desmos if you kind of just use that strategy from the beginning of like thinking through how zero zero would affect things. Now, if you were unsure, you could still go to Desmos, but notice it's gonna take a long time to kind of type this out, right? So y is greater than negative one plus three x, right? Like you can put it in and you can see that the picture there doesn't match the picture here, right? They're going in different ways. And then you'd be like, okay, now I gotta switch that to a negative and it looks pretty good. On a harder question, the SAT might give you, you know, two very similar slopes that kind of present with the same graph or similar looking graphs. So that way you got to actually kind of dive in and check the points. That's not happening here. But, you know, I, I don't know that Desmos is the most efficient way to do this. But if you are not confident with anything to do with algebra or graphs, then yeah, just use Desmos and let them solve it for you because I'd rather you just get the question right. And so for you, you're, you're not necessarily trying to get to the end of the section with everything perfect. You're just trying to survive. So if that feels like you, then yeah, you're going to be using Desmos more than most people because Desmos isn't really going to mess it up. So feel free to do that. But if you are confident, then you should be able to recognize, first of all, that this is a plug points into equations question. And then you can just do that very simply with zero, zero. That's the kind of thing that, you know, maybe on this question isn't that big of a deal, but on harder questions, yeah, you want to just instantly know, oh, I'm going to plug zero, zero in. And that's going to help you solve a lot of hard stuff too.